Greetings all, I know I've been away for a little while, so I figured I'd come back with something fun. Brian's Logic recently released a video getting the Helio model and reality wrong yet again. This time it's essentially, why don't we have an eclipse every month? Well, his original video is an eight minute long video repeating the same claim over and over, so I trimmed it to save time and your brain cells. So let's take a look at it. Well, the parallel light from the sun that they claim happens, right? Uh, there is uh, the bright side of the moon. It's facing away from the, this is claimed to be out. And this is claimed to be daytime, and this is the new moon here, right? Um, so, this is the problem. If the moon is a physical object, and it's in the sky, and it's there during daytime, right? This new moon, right? And all the light, and it's being lit by the sun, and all the light is at the back of the moon, right? Then, where is the shadow that should be cast onto the earth, regardless of what you think the earth is? Where is the shadow? Where is the shadow that should turn up somewhere? There should be a shadow somewhere. If the new moon has all the light at the back of it, there should be a shadow on the surface of earth, flat or globe. There should be a shadow. If the sun is lighting the moon, and the moon is a physical object. And during new moon times, the uh, the moon is in the sky, um, and the sun is all, light is all at the back of the moon. Then there should be a shadow somewhere on Earth, right? So this is my modest holdings on this. <clears throat> if P, the moon is a physical object that is lit by the sun, then Q, we will observe a moon shadow cast upon the surface of Earth during new moon time. Not Q, we do not observe a, ca a shadow cast upon the surface of Earth during new moon time. So therefore not P, the moon is not a physical object that is lit by the sun. Well, let's go ahead and pick this apart, shall we? As we can see in this top-down view, it shows the same thing. This is great for moon phase, but garbage for eclipse and new moon position in the sky. Now, when we remember that reality has three dimensions, his argument very quickly falls apart, and as, so does his modus tollens. Hey, look, there's three dimensions there. Now, see, according to the Helio model, the moon's orbit is not on the ecliptic. It can vary up to five degrees above and below the direct line between the sun and the earth. So see, new moon, no solar eclipse. Let's come back around again. And new moon, but no solar eclipse. Now, what happens if the moon happens to pass between the Earth and the sun along the ecliptic? Hmm, let's see what happens. Oh, look, new moon and solar eclipse. So how does this affect things? This means that, according to the Helio model, there can never be a solar eclipse every month. That anyone that says the Helio model claims that fails to understand 3D space or is lying to you. Now. If one blocks out the sun and takes all these factors into consideration, see, sun's blocked out. Now, what happens if we take into consideration that the moon sits above the ecliptic or below the ecliptic during the new moon at certain times? This doesn't happen every time. But what do we get when we point? our telescope and camera at that new moon using a proper near IR filter on a full spectrum camera, you get this, you get this nice razor thin line of the moon. Now let's see what happens if we try this on another period. There again, the moon is below the ecliptic on here. And when we point it at the moon, point our scopes at the moon, what do we get? We get this here. Now let's try this again. The moon is again below the sun, below the ecliptic. And what happens? Ah, oh, yes. Another razor thin line of the moon. The new moon. So one has to ask oneself did Brian not do his research? Because I typed in, why do we not have an eclipse every month? then immediately came up with results. 
Or did Brian do his research and fail to comprehend the information? I, that's a possibility. Or did he do his research, comprehend it, and then lie for personal gain? Uh, well, no matter how you look at it, it's a fail or a con job on his part. Now, the photos of the new moon were taken by Thierry Legault, and I will leave the links to his site and book in the description. Thierry Legault is a world-renowned and highly respected photographer and astrophotographer, and his new moon shots are world records. No one's ever been able to top it. Well, that's all for now, folks. So until next time, remember, it's a globe.